Habari? Karibuni sana tujifunze Kiswahili. Hello everyone, welcome back to my class. If you are new here, karibu sana and I am very happy to have you here today. So for those who are new, welcome. My name is Patricia and today we are going to learn about mwa noun class. Mm, wa noun class. So in our previous uh, lesson, we have seen a general overview of noun classes, and today we are going to learn about mm, wa noun class. So we are going to see all the groups of names that are in mm, wa noun class. So in my previous lesson, I said the first and second noun class is m mm for singular and wa for plural so the first is m mm, the first class is m mm, and the second class is wa so m mm is for singular and wa is for plural so m mm, wa noun class so this is the first and second noun class so we are going to see all the names of people and animals that are grouped into mwa noun class. So all names for human beings and animals are grouped into mwa noun class. Okay, so we have m for singular, which is the first class is m stands for singular. And the second class is wa, is for plural, okay? So, m is the first and wa is the second, okay? So, we have grouped these classes, I mean this class of m, wa, noun class into five groups. So, we have people, m, wa class, which represents the names for the people. And the second one is also for the people, but is M W. So we will see, okay. And the third class is names for nationalities. And the fourth class is names for the professionals. And the fifth, fifth class is names for the animals, okay. So let's see the first class. So the first class. Uh, is for names for the people. So, M mm, stands for the singular, and th this is the first class, and Wa is the second class, okay? So, M mm, stands for the singular, and Wa stands for the plural, okay? So, let's get started. So, the first name is to m to m to m m to so m to in plural we say wa to wa to so m to is a person okay and wa to persons okay m toto m toto a child m toto and in plural we say watoto watoto children watoto so mtoto watoto children so remember this is the group number 1 for names for the people okay are we together very good so names for the people okay okay the third name is Example is mgeni, mgeni, so m mm stands for first, I mean first, the first class, m, mgeni, mgen, the first class, mgeni, and the plural will be the second one is wageni, wageni, the plural, the plural of mgeni is wageni, so mgeni, this means visitor a visitor and wageni visitors okay very good msichana 
msichana msichana a girl wasichana girls wasichana girls mvulana mvulana a boy wavulana wavulana boys mume mume husband waume waume husbands okay mke mke a wife wake wake wives okay very good very good wake okay another example is mtumishi so this one is also in the group of people mtumishi a servant watumishi watumishi servants mlemavu is also in this group mlemavu mlemavu walemavu walemavu mgonjwa mgonjwa a patient wagonjwa in plural we say wagonjwa wagonjwa patients mpishi mpishi is a chef wapishi wapishi chefs okay so these are names for the people which are grouped into m wa noun class so m for the singular and wa for plural and another group which is the second one is m w it starts with m w also is grouped into people but the difference is this one with the first class starts with m w and not m okay we have to understand here is also in this group of people the names for the people but the difference is in this category uh the first class starts with m w and the plural is wa okay so the first class starts with m w and the plural is wa just the same so let's look at these examples or these names so the first one is Mwana. So Mwana means a child or a son or daughter. Okay? A child, son or daughter, we call Mwana. So in general, we say Mwana. And in plural, Wana. Wana. So Mwana, Wana. A child children a son sons a daughter daughter so mwana is in singular and in plural we say wana okay wana also wanamke that means a female daughter female daughter so mwana is a daughter and mke this means female okay so mwanamke mwanamke is a female okay mwanamke and in plural we say wanawake wanawake mwanamke a female wanawake wanawake females okay so remember mwana means a child son or daughter okay so mwana let's see another example mwana mume mwana mume remember mwana is it can be a son a daughter or um a child okay so mwana mume means a child who is 
a a man okay a child who is a man so that means this is mwanamume is a man mwanamume mwanamume and in plural we say wana mume wana mume okay very good so mwanamke is a female wanawake females mwanamume is a man a man wanaume men okay mwana michezo sorry mwana nchi mwana nchi nchi is a nation mwana nchi a child of a nation so that means this is a citizen okay citizen okay mwana nchi a citizen mwana nchi citizens okay so mwana nchi this is a citizen mwana nchi citizens mwana muziki a child of music is a musician okay mwana muziki a musician wana muziki musicians okay mwana muziki wana muziki mwana siasa mwana means a child and siasa politics that means a politician okay politician wana siasa politician so this also is a group a name for the people okay is in th these are names for the people so but the difference is this first i mean the first class is m w and the second class is wa but is included into group class one and two which is m wa noun class okay is grouped into m wa noun class vizuri sana let's see another group is group for nationalities group for nationalities m for the singular okay and wa for plural all right so let's start let's see the names for nationalities also are grouped into m wa noun class so the first example is mtanzania i am tanzanian okay mtanzania mtanzania tanzanian wa tanzania tanzanians wa tanzania so mtanzania wa tanzania mkenya wa kenya kenyans okay marekani wa marekani marekani an american wa marekani americans mchina in swahili we say mchina okay mchina mchina chinese wa china wa china in plural we say wa china okay mkorea mkorea korean wa korea in plural we say wa korea wa korea okay mjerumani german mjerumani in plural we say wa jerumani so this group is for nationalities and is also in class 1 and 2 which is m wa noun class okay so now you know nationalities tanzania wa tanzania mkenya wa kenya mfilipino wa filipino okay 
vizuri sana let's see another class is the class for professionals so this class is for professionals but also is in class one and two as i said in previous i said so this class is for human being and animals you can find some names other names that are not start with m but in plural they start with the prefix is wa so also all those names are grouped into class one and two even though the prefix is not m as we can see in these professionals names okay for example fundi as you can see the prefix is fu or f but in plural the prefix is ma okay so fundi ma fundi dereva ma dereva raisi ma raisi waziri ma waziri so all these names because are the names of the people or human being are grouped into this mm, wa noun class for example fundi is a technician okay fundi in swahili in english we say is a technician ma fundi technician so because these names for professionals are the professionals of human beings so we grouped all these names into m wa noun class okay so dereva is a driver ma dereva drivers okay raisi is a president president raisi ma raisi presidents okay so all these names even though are not uh, the prefixes are not in m wa but because are the names of the people so we grouped all these into m wa noun class i hope you understand okay so wazili is a minister ma waziri ministers okay barozi mabarozi so barozi is an ambassador mabarozi ambassadors okay police is a police ma police so the plural of police is ma police ma police so we can say also another example mbunge wabunge so mbunge is a member of the parliament we, we, we call them mbunge mbunge and wabunge members of the parliament so all these uh, professional names are grouped into uh, these professionals so fundi mafundi a technician technicians dereva madereva driver drivers raisi president ma raisi presidents waziri minister ma waziri ministers barozi ambassador ma barozi ambassadors polisi a policeman ma polisi policeman men okay mbunge wabunge so the fourth group is for professionals so the category is for professional okay so let's see the last group of the last category of mm, wa noun class is animals the group for the category for animals okay so mnyama wanyama so mnyama is animal in plural we say wanyama 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 okay 
So mnyama animal in plural we say wanyama. So what about insects? Insects, these are we call them wadodo. So in singular, this is is mdodo insect. In plural we say wadodo. Wadodo, okay? So insect mdodo wadu wadodo insects in plural and the other names for animals for example simba in singular is a lion in plural we say simba lions so simba in plural simba is, is just the same okay tembo an elephant tembo tembo Tembo, okay? In plural, we call them tembo, just the same. Sungura, sungura. Paka, paka. So sungura is rabbit, and in plural, we call them sungura, okay? We don't say masungura. No, 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 no. Just remember sungura, sungura, okay? Paka is a cat. Paka. In plural, paka. Dog, mbwa. In plural, mbwa. So all animal names are grouped into mwa noun class. Even though they, the prefixes are not in m mm and in plural, not in wa, but are grouped into mwa noun class because this class is the class for human being and animals class for people and animals okay so this is the general overview of mm, wa noun class and its categories okay so we have seen the category for people the category for people also but the prefix is m w mwa which means mwana and wana Remember, Mwana means son, daughter, or a child, okay? And also, we have seen the category for nationalities. In Tanzania, Marekani, wa Tanzania, wa Marekani, okay? And another category is for professionals. Fundi is a technician, so this is all, only for professionals. So, even though the prefix is not in M and wa but is professionals for people okay just remember that for people is grouped into m wa noun class which is class one and class two and the last category is for animals names for the animals all animals names are grouped into here in m wa noun class okay so yeah very good so these are um examples and categories of m wa noun class so we have seen the first and the second the first and the second class so the next class we will see the third and the fourth class okay so this is class one and two m wa noun class so the next class it will be the class for it will be the lesson for class three and class four asante sana tutaonana wakati mwingine kwaheri kwaheri